Good evening. Let me introduce you to Karen Macmillan. She is the manageress at Romford Dog Stadium and she sees over the bookmakers, over all the staff and many other problems that she might get. Tonight, she's going to tell me um, about a system that we now have to bring in because of young people who sometimes try to have a bet and are under the age of having a bet. Now this has been going on some time but it's now come to light because people are spending money gambling that they really shouldn't be. So right, Karen, would you like to tell me? Yeah, I mean the Gambling Act goes back to uh, 2005 so it's not actually um, a new uh, thing. No. Um, in the retail side of the business we, um, we operate a Think 21 policy. Right. So anybody that um, looks um, the age of 21 and younger, we have to ask for identification to ensure that they're of age to come into a betting shop. Right. Um, the policy's been here for a number of years as well. Um, and recently we've just introduced the Think 25 policy. Um, which means what? Which means that any young stranger that looks the age of 25 or younger, we will ask for identification um, to ensure that they're above the age of 18. Um, and also it will mean then that they can have a bet or they can drink alcohol on our um, establishment. Okay. Um, this, this goes with the bookmakers, the tote team, the bars. It's throughout. Um, it's throughout the whole stadium. Um, but obviously on the retail side, it's... Um, for gambling, if you're not allowed to alcohol in the shops. No. Um, it's even more it's even more important for us because obviously we have families come here, so we've got to look after the vulnerable, which which um, classes as anybody of children, anybody that's had a drink, yep. um, or under the influence of alcohol. We wouldn't want them to put them in a situation um, where they're betting and they shouldn't be. Right. Um, so yeah, so we have we have um, a third party company that will come in. Um, and they would they will come over and they'll ask you um, if they could have a bet and if they look like a young stranger uh, we're obliged to ask for identification so right let's go through the procedure okay. I'm on the stand yep. the prices are up you look obviously under 25 do oh, I have to <laughs> say to the punter ie whether it's a young lady or a young man mm -hmm. Are you over 18? Are you over 25? Or which do I have to ask? So what you would ask them was if they had any identification on them. Right. Um, so anybody that's a young stranger to yourself, right. um, we would ask for identification. So that's the first thing I say. Yeah. Excuse me, have you got identification? Yeah. If and if they say why? Say because you look young, which is a compliment to most of us these days. Yeah. Um, and we would ask them to produce identification. Failure to do this, yep. um, and it's a really, really simple rule. No identification, no there's no bet. bet. Right. It's very simple. It's not only protecting ourselves, it's actually protecting the young and the vulnerable. Um, we wouldn't want anybody... I totally agree with it. Yeah. I think it's a very good thing. Yeah. Now, if I do say to them, are you under 20, uh, over, over 18 or uh, over 25 years yeah. of age, do I have to take any notes or write their name down or anything like that? No, nope. so I've given all the bookmakers now, including the tote staff and the bar staff, um, we have a log throughout the um, establishment of the stadium um, and that will be that will be logged and that also that protects yourself, it protects... So we have to log it? Yes. So, okay, so you're 18 obviously, I can see that. So you come in and ask me for a bet and I say, my first words are, have you any identification, young lady? And you say yes, so you bring out your identification, yes, and I can see you're 22. Yes. So yes. now she's entitled to have a bet. Yes. Of which, do I then, if she has the bet, do I still have to write her name down and... You log the, de you log the details. You log it. Yes. So, okay, Mary Lou, um, age 18, and that, that's sufficient as long as I've seen her identification. Yes, that's correct. That's, that's what correct. I have to do. Yeah. So the first question out of my mouth is not... Who you want to back no. is, good evening, um, identification please. Yes, that's correct. Um, now, not everybody's going to, especially young bucks, you know, they want to look macho. And if you say to some <coughs> young chaps, excuse me, are you 25? They sometimes come very close to you um, as if you're being rude or insulted, which we're not. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, yeah. if anybody asks anybody um, under the age of 25 and they're over, um, if you've got any identification, most people will see it as a compliment. Yes. Um, and I, I found, 25 years in the business, I found that the only um, customers that actually get a little bit irate are the ones that haven't got identification right. and are usually underage. Right. Um, and at that point, we wouldn't accept a bet off them or serve them alcohol. Okay, now you're under 18, we say. You want a tenner on the six, dog. Yes. But I say, I'm sorry, you've got no identification or you're too young. Mm. If you go to my friend here, Simon, and give him the £10 note to have it on the six dog, I think Simon is over 18 years of age. Can I then accept the bet through him? No. I can't? No. I can't? No. But I never so realised that. You need to see the identification for yourself. Yes, um, and once and she's not old enough, if but she goes to her dad, we'll say. Yeah. Say Simon's the dad no. and says, Dad, put me a tenner on the six dog. The answer is no. I can't. So if we, if we saw um, someone going up to um, a customer over the age and they came up to the bet, we have come up to the counter to have a bet, we would actually turn around and say, No, I'm unfortunately, we can't stick that bet. Um, it's exactly the same if you went into a supermarket and you were buying someone alcohol for an underage um, customer, right. um, they wouldn't accept it there. We wouldn't accept it at the bar either. Um, I see. And that's not, that's, this is not a labyrinth coral um, policy. No, um, this is the law this of the is land. The law. This is the is law. It? Um, and it's through every bookmaker, through every public house in the country. Um, and the answer is we do not want to serve anybody that's under the age. Um, I see. And we would not want to encourage it. Um, so putting, the, putting this in place, um, it not only protects us, um, but it also protects the vulnerable. Um, Very so good. We, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't want them to. Simon, bet. let me bring you in here. Good evening. Did you realise that if, say, somebody next to you wasn't 18 years of age, uh, you were at the races or Gromford or wherever, and they said, do me a favour, old chap, put me a tenner on the six dog. First of all, now I would imagine you must be committing some kind of offence, but I can't take that for you. Now, in the past, I can honestly say this is true, people have come down for a bet when we were around the other side and said, oh, can I have a bet? And I've, I've looked at him and thought, well, this chap looks a bit sus. I think he's under 18. And I've said, have you identification? And they've said no. And I said, no, I, then I can't bet you. I've seen them gone away in the crowd and I've seen a chap with somebody and they've come down, a, an elder person, and had a tenner and I've laid them. So I shouldn't have done that. If you, if you believe that bet was for someone under the age of 18 years old, you should not accept that bet. Yeah, but how can I prove, Karen, that the, guys, the guy might say, it's not his bet, it's my bet. Okay, that you can't prove. No. But if you believe, and it is about the belief, if you believe that is for a customer that's under the age of 18, you should not accept that bet. Right, now another thing is, there's a minute to go. Yes. Right? The, yeah, they're all gathering around the, the, the odd, they all want to have a bet, and there's somebody there, up comes Simon. Now I think he looks about 17, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Now I say to him, Simon, uh, identification please. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, uh, give me a ton on the top, mate. Give me 50 pin on. This is all happening very yeah. quickly. You know, you realise. Now all of a sudden a fellow wants £100 on the three dog. Yeah. I'm still trying to see Simon's identification. Uh, too late. He doesn't get on the chat, wants to be on the three dog, but he's £100. Up goes the trap, out goes three, and it wins. Now we've got a slight problem because the geezer says, oh, I want you to make the freedom. You've let me down, you, you know. That's no, that's no different to in a betting shop when you've got 50, 100 people in a betting shop. The, the point is, if you take a bet off the first person, like you're saying, Simon, under the age of 18, you're breaking yeah. the law. Right. Um, so the answer is no, you would not okay. take that bet. So, so if you chose, while Simon was looking for his identification, to yeah. take someone else's bet who you believe was over the age, that's entirely up to you. Yes. But the minute you take a bet from an underage, uh, well, it's, it's a child. We're in trouble. You're in trouble. That is the last possible thing. I understand. Okay. One of the things I think the bookmakers could do in these circumstances, say, you know, we, we have to put the prices up with eight minutes to go. Right. Say we put the prices up and there's a lot of youngsters there. Mm -hmm. Would it be advisable for me to say, fellas, the law's changed slightly. It hasn't changed. The, well, law, the okay. law's been exactly the same. Since okay, the same we're upholding the law a lot more now because we have to. Um, and um, if you guys want to have a bet, some of you don't look 18 or you, you might look under 25, I would suggest now you have the bet with eight minutes to go. That way I can see your identification. Correct. And if you all come up, that's the best thing. So yeah. I don't think it'd do any harm to say to some of these people, Guys, um, don't wait to the last. 
if you want a pet, I can guarantee you'll have your pet. Correct. Providing you've got, yeah, I think that's exactly the thing. Exactly the same. But the thing is that things haven't changed recently here. This should have been happening all along. It is the law. Well, I won't say um, it wasn't, but let's say okay. we didn't know too much about it. There wasn't much okay. upheld. Well, now you've got me. You're going to oh, know all of it. Karen, <laughs> listen. We now know yep. before anybody who's young comes in, we say yep. to them straight away, have you got identification, Any please? young stranger. Yeah, um, comes in with an identification. And if they're 18 or over, they we can, can label them a bet. Yes. But they've got to be 18 or over. Yes. Lovely. Right. Now, is there anything else you want to tell me? <laughs> no, but you're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that, have we, but... Have we cleared that up? We have. Fantastic. And I know now, and I, you've obviously told all the other bookmakers, but tonight when I go out there, I should get in front and say, now you know the laws, fellas. Yep. Don't come to me, you know, in a week's time and say, oh, we didn't ask this young lady. You have to challenge everybody. 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 Yes, everybody. Th that's great, Karen. That's nice and, I'm and clear. I'm going to make your evening because I'm going to have you inside tonight and not out in the rain. Oh, we're in <laughs> here? Shall we bring you in tonight? I, I'm not worried, to be honest with you. Mr. Sims is not here. He's a bit <laughs> adverse to the rain. But um, it, it, it's a poor night. How, how, right, how many have we sold tonight? Um, I'd have to check with reception. Well, I'm not quite sure. Let's but see we how many have, have We have enough room for you to stay in tonight. Have we? Yes. So All if you'd right. like to stay in tonight, let's keep okay. you dry tonight. Yeah? Okay, that's lovely, Karen. Lovely. And I appreciate that. Lovely. And if there's any questions, I'll come and ask you. Yeah. Because nobody wants to get in trouble. That's right. We want to see Romford, the best track in the country. Oh, it will be. Whether it's the girls serving the teas or the ladies serving the beer. Yeah. Not or I even them bloody old bookmakers. <laughs> <laughs> but, so um, not only do we serve the best tea, the best pint. So, yes, um, yes. And, and going forward, we will be the best. Right, lady. lovely. It's lovely to talk to you. And you. Thank and you very now, much. Simon, would you like to ask this young lady? Is there anything you'd like to ask her? <laughs> no, right, thanks. No? Okay. Thank lovely. you very much. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. And I'll ask all the chaps to behave. Yeah, I think yeah, they yeah. will. Well, it's their livelihood at stake. That, that's what we want. We want to make yeah. we want to make sure we protect ourselves. Yes. Um, but also, we want to protect the young and the vulnerable as well. Yeah, I, I couldn't mean, agree more. I, mean, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you've got children or grandchildren. I, I have. I, both. I've got young children. I certainly you would not. You can't have. Oh God, mine, mine are old now. <laughs> but I wouldn't want them to go into anywhere and be able to have a bet without being challenged. No, I totally agree. Um, we would do everything we possibly can. And I sincerely mean this. Yeah. I mean, most of the bookmakers, they're all good bookmakers. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make sure, there's, if I see somebody coming up to anybody else's joint yeah. and they don't look of age, I'll just say, have you asked them? Yeah, that's Love it, we can help each other. other. Right, why right, isn't it, Si? Supporting yes. each other. Lovely. Lovely, thank do you, you. Do you want a vodka or a scotch? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs>